Hi, my name is Katie. I use she, her pronouns, and I'm an educator here at the California Academy of Sciences. We can learn a lot about an animal just by looking at its skull. For instance, where was that animal spending most of its time? What was it eating? Let's take a look at the two skulls I have with me today to see what we can learn. Over here, I have an American alligator skull. And on the other side, I have an alligator snapping turtle skull. Both of these animals are reptiles, and they live in freshwater swamps in the southeastern United States. First, let's see what's similar between the two. Well, one thing I notice right away is that they both have eyes, they both have a nose, and they both have mouths. But those features don't look quite the same on each animal. Let's take a look first at the American alligator. When they open their mouth, you'll see quite a few teeth. Alligators can have around 80 teeth at a time, and as they use those teeth, they get worn down and replaced. One alligator might go through as many as 3,000 teeth in their lifetime. That is a lot of chomping. What about the snapping turtle? Well, when they open their mouth, you'll notice that they don't have any teeth at all. Instead, they have a beak that they use to catch their food. Both animals are carnivores, meaning they eat meat, and they're both ambush predators, which means they lie in wait for their prey. Alligators surprise their prey by being camouflaged. They're a similar color as their surrounding. Snapping turtles, they have an extra trick. When they're underwater, blending in with the murky swamp, with their mouth open, they have a special appendage on their tongue that looks kind of like a worm. They use that to lure fish in closer so that when that fish comes a little too close to the jaw, they can snap and get their dinner. What else do we notice that's different between the two? Well, we mentioned the eyes earlier, but I notice that their eyes are in different places. American alligators have eyes on the top of their head, but snapping turtles have eyes on the side. Why might that be useful? Well, if we think back to how an alligator spends a lot of time floating in the water, having eyes on the top allows them to, well, keep an eye out so that they can look above the water to see what's going on in their surroundings. Having a nose on the top is also helpful when they're swimming. It allows them to breathe even while partially submerged in the water. Is there anything else that you notice that you can find that is similar between the two or different? Thank you for joining me today as we've learned a little bit more about how alligators and snapping turtles spend their time and what they eat. Thank you.